I don't think I can call this look a wonderless look because I think a palette is already named that. Oh, well, I can call this look whatever I want. It's super bold, it's super cute. Hey everyone, welcome back to my beauty space. If you are new to my channel, my name is Natasha. And in today's look, I did want to film a bold look, but I say that all the time. Like I've been filming a lot of bold looks for you guys lately. I've been looking on YouTube and kind of just seeing everybody film their super colorful looks, I guess. But I see a lot of people using the James Charles palette, which is awesome. But I try to shop, let's see. <coughs> I buy drugstore makeup as well as high-end makeup. I buy makeup that is online, so eBay, Amazon. The palette that I did pick up, it's extremely bold. And I said, how can I not create a colorful look with all these shades? Like I wanna use every single one of them. This palette reminds me of all, like back in the day when people used to do YouTube videos, they would get the BH Cosmetics palette and this one is just simply from ebay there's no writing on it this is the front and of course this is the back i wanted to see if i could create a bold look using a palette like this look at my eyes they look beautiful also i need to ask you guys i need to understand why you guys have not subscribed to my youtube channel yet do you want me to wait because i can wait if you guys want to see how i created this beautiful colorful look please keep watching the first product that I'm gonna grab is my Garnier. This is the Skin Active Soothing Mist. This stuff smells so good and it makes my face feel like refreshed. So we're gonna spray this all over our face first. The next product that I'm gonna grab is the Age Renewal. This is from L'Oreal and I'm gonna use this as my moisturizer. product that I'm going to grab is the Can't Stop One Stop from NYX Professional and this is how much I grab and I don't want to tell you guys quantities because I usually grab way too much. Moving on to foundation, I am taking my CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. You guys kind of already know this routine. Shake up the foundation, I place this on the back of my hand. So I'm just going to pick up the foundation with my beauty blender. I did spray some setting spray. This is from Revlon. This is the photo ready setting spray. Look at my beauty blender. Okay, so now we have the top because I asked you guys in my previous video what shows you guys have been watching lately. I did get a response for HGTV, Fear of the Walking Dead, and I love, like HGTV is like lifetime. Once you start watching a show on HGTV, <laughs> you literally get hooked, especially with like, when they're like flipping houses and remodeling houses. I don't know, I'm like super obsessed with that. I got stuck in watching 90 Day Fiance. Let me tell y'all. <laughs> And I'm just taking some of the foundation because it's not coming out of the tube. I am just going to place this on my face. I do like full coverage at all times, so that is what I'm doing. The stuff that is going on in that show, <laughs> like I can't even describe the majority of the characters. I started watching it because my friend was telling me about it and I was like, you know what? Let me just see what this show is about. So basically, 90 Day Fiance for you, for you guys who don't know, they are finding people, you know, like overseas in different countries and bringing them to the States to marry them. And they say that they're in love. Uh -huh. In this story, there's a girl from Brazil and this guy from Nevada is like madly in love with her. And it's so funny because they are like, when I say complete opposites, I mean, hopefully they are complete opposites. But what they say is opposites attract, so you never know. So he's more of like the nerdy guy, and she's more of like the exotic, sexy, likes to look nice every day type of girl. <laughs> but the funny part is, he still lives at home with his mom, and he also has a joint account with his mom. I guess they've always kind of like lived together. She picks him up from work. She takes him to work every morning. It is insane. So he's basically dating his mom. Like they're together nonstop. Right now I am just taking my NYX HD concealer and I'm going to highlight. But 
but she was like, so where are my flowers? And he's like, um, yeah, I didn't get you flowers. And she was like, what? Like, where are my flowers? She literally kind of said that the whole time that they were leaving the airport. She didn't realize how hot Vegas was. And if, if you know anything about Vegas, Vegas can get up to like, I remember when I went out there in like 2009 and I got out the car at midnight because we drove and it was 117 degrees. I swear, once I got out of the car, like my eyebrows were like on the sidewalk. According to the next episode, I don't think they have air conditioning in that car either. You cannot live in Vegas without air conditioning. I mean, you probably could, I just, I couldn't do it, personally. And I guess she didn't realize how close the son and the mom was. So yeah, she gets there and like, Debbie, that's the mom's name. She's like crying the night before because you know she's about to lose her son. So she's hurt. But yeah, he's, she's like, where is your furniture? Like when she walks into the house, she's like, where is your furniture? And then like the mom had already cooked them dinner. And I'm just contouring with the same LA girl. This is in the shade mahogany. The girl was like, I don't want to eat like your soup or whatever she made her. You know, like a welcome home meal. That girl was not having it. He sleeps with like his cat in the bed. And I don't know about you guys, I don't have any animals, but if you do have animals, do your animals or your cats and your dogs, do they lay in the bed with you? She wasn't used to that, so she's like, get your cat off the bed. <laughs> like she can't lay up here. This is my stippling brush. I always use this to contour. Focus. This is from Wet n Wild. This is an eye primer. So I am putting some on the back of my hand. Grabbing some of my setting spray. So this palette has so many amazing colors in here. We are going to grab this matte blue shade right here. Now these shades do not have a name. It would be too many colors to name. Oh my goodness. So focus is only on the outer corner. The next shade that I'm going to pick up is a orange sunset shade. So this orange shade, it actually has orange and yellow in it because I want these two to mix, which is so cool that you get that with the palette. And I'm going to place this as my transition shade. shade that is right here. It is a matte shade. And I am literally just patting this on. Here goes the color once again. I'm going to go in with this beautiful, vibrant purple shade right here. And I'll go ahead and
much for you, go ahead and stop at the eyeliner and add your lashes. But you know, I gotta be extra. really loved my older sister <laughs> and so I don't know how I got into beauty school I know they only accept two girls from every school so like the school district and I happen to be one of them but my counselor I'm really saying like he loved my freaking sister <laughs> 
My older sister is beautiful, but I didn't get in until my senior year. So I was kind of already a year behind because usually it takes two years for you to complete all your hours for beauty school. So I knew that once I graduated high school, I would have to stay in beauty school until I finished. The main reason I was super excited about beauty school was because I didn't have to be at school at all. So from 8 o'clock in the morning, or the bus came and got me at like 7.30, so from 8 until noon, I was in beauty school, which was amazing. My bus would come get me at 12, and then I would be back at school by like 12.45, and then have to go to my next class, and then, so I had two classes. I think it was math, math, and I think like an elective class. I can't really remember. So I was so happy because I didn't have to see nobody from school. <laughs> so I really enjoyed going to beauty school, but the stuff behind beauty school was insane. I think I told you guys in one of my videos that I was the only black girl at this school out of 150 girls. I've never seen nothing like it. And nobody knew how to do my hair. And everybody was like, can we, can we play with your hair? Like, Stop it. Get some help. Also, this school would refuse black people. They would tell them that there was nobody on staff that could do their hair. Oh, hell no! So I am going back into this palette, and we're gonna do everything that we did on our eyes to my lower lash line. Of course, you want the look to balance. You want it to all look the same. So the first shade that we're gonna start out with is the blue shade that I took. We're gonna pick that up with my brush, tap off any extra. And you see how that is just on the outer corner? I'm gonna do the same to the other side. First color popped on perfectly. The next shade that we're gonna take is the green shade. I'm obsessed with this look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you guys who do not like to wear a lot of makeup. How can you not play makeup like this? He didn't mean nothing by it. He was just like trying to help me out. Moving on to our lips, I am going to take, I think this is the razor, so it's my Ray Ray. When she teamed up with ColourPop, this is the lip liner. I know my lip liners, these ColourPop lip liners, I hate that they're white because they get so dirty. And it's like the lip liner like falls back in here for some reason. Snob, this is by MAC. I could never wear, I think it was like candy pop. What? Like all the girls used to wear, and I'm like, I cannot wear that. I'm just taking some Revlon lip gloss. Now 
now that the look is finalized, I'm going to spray some Revlon setting spray all over my face. Remember, I cannot thank you guys enough for stopping by and leaving such sweet comments under all my videos. I love reading you guys' comments and I try to respond right away after I see the comment. I know I probably look crazy, like after somebody comments, I literally go in and like respond really quickly because I want you guys to know that I am super approachable on the internet and as well as in person. Until my next video, do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If you just enjoyed the tutorial and all the story time, stories i was telling you guys about i know i'm super random and i have so much to say who can relate it's like i don't even know where to begin i'm a super random person and it's like my brain is literally all over the place all the time because i'm also extremely hyper my energy level is probably like at a 10 <laughs> when it should be like at a five normally normally people's energy level is like at a five and it stays that way i'm kind of like i bounce obviously so just telling you guys like just little stories about me is definitely liberating for me because I'm one of those people that holds a lot of stuff in. I don't really express myself and I have a hard time doing that on YouTube because I don't want to seem vulnerable. Talking to you guys definitely helps me. And as I was talking about some of these story time videos, I'm like, Whew, like a weight was lifted off my shoulders just by telling somebody. I really need to sit down and do a story time video just telling you guys more about me and just the experiences that I've went through. But I don't wanna get too emotional guys I'm still being super random. <laughs> do not forget to thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video because I am super consistent, so I must give myself a pat on the back. <laughs> Yes, bitch. I'm uploading once a week so far. Hopefully I can get to two videos a week, but as of now, one video a week. What? I miss you guys, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.